The following program is intended for mature audiences. So I'm going to just jump right into it, okay? Today I wanted to come on here and talk about Kay Michelle. My thoughts and opinions aren't like everybody else. I'm a different type of breed. So I think for myself, I'm not a monkey see, monkey do type person. I don't follow the crowd. With that being said, Kay Michelle played y'all, okay? She wanted to bring that attention to herself to promote her new show. At first sight to a lot of people, it looked like what she said, but in reality, it wasn't. Extra skin already sags, okay? You can't push it up to make it stay in place. That's why she immediately ended the video after the push-up. She was giving y'all an illusion, okay? Extra skin already sags. Then she doubled down by wasting no time to come down to the internet to explain and further promote her new show, okay? That viral video was planned. At first sight, it was believable. To a lot of people who don't know no better, but extra skin already sags. And plus, she had on a faja, a corset. So, that will make it tighter. If you pay attention to the video, once she attempted to push it up, it moved over whatever she had in there. K. Michelle getting implants. It was not a mistake. It was a choice. Those are two different things. Whether you go to a certified surgeon or a underground bootleg surgeon, stepping into that situation, you already know the consequences because you've already done your research. K. Michelle did not think that's how she's supposed to look stepping into the industry. That's how she wanted to look. It's a difference. And now she's trying to capitalize off a bad choice. This is a storyline for her to get a bag. You know, kind of like the surrogate storyline was for her. I can agree with her when she said She's not looking for sympathy. She's not. But she is looking to capitalize off of it. She knew about the consequences. She was very well aware of all the consequences. Okay? And now she's going through that. She still wants to capitalize off of that. Smart girl. She's got to put out this show to make up for the money that she's spending to correct a bad choice. I'm not your average blogger. I don't like to jump on these stories without doing research or analyzing the truth. In that video, I didn't see sagging skin. I saw something that was deliberately placed there to give an illusion. I saw K. Michelle promoting her new show. I saw something square or rectangular inside that faja that she tried to push up real quick and at the same time immediately cut the camera off after giving y'all the illusion. Of what she wanted y'all to think it was. And it doesn't matter if they are already famous. The fact that the matter is. When it comes to people that are already famous. 
they have to do things to stay relevant and or promote their new project. And that's what we see with K. Michelle. She's trying to promote her new project. She's trying to capitalize off a bad choice. She's out for the bag. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Do you, baby girl. But everybody is not blinded to exactly what's going on. Some people see and know what's exactly going on. And then you have other people. At first sight, they just jump off the illusion. So, at the end of the day, it is what it is. We are in the era of the internet where clout chasing is at an all-time high. If you're famous, you're trying to stay relevant. If you want to be famous, you're trying to become relevant. Or if you used to be famous and you fell off, you want to get back to that fame. And another thing that I like to point out before I let y'all go is the fact that the people who make excuses for getting these underground bootleg surgeries or going to a certified surgeon, when they blame it on the industry, it's not the industry's fault because women and transgenders were going up under the knife and the needles way before people in the industry made it popular.
I don't sit around here and care about nobody else. Yeah, but the shit y'all trying to pull, that's kind of sad. Like, even for the culture and the community, here you got a girl trying to warn other women. Like, don't be as stupid as I was. Seven years ago. This is seven years ago this happened. Don't be as stupid as I was. Love who you are. Love yourself. Love your body. You know what I'm saying? And then, I could have did like some of y'all favorites. I could have just, what? Got the surgery, won't be closed, didn't say nothing to you. That's not me, man. If you, I'm going to show you the good and the bad of me. I'm sorry. That's all I'm doing. That's all I can do. So, what you want from me? You want to laugh that I, I survived dying and that I can walk again? Because I couldn't walk? Yeah, I was in the wheelchair. I don't need no sympathy, but I, I would like to have the black people support black women because they're the most brutal people of everybody. I don't know why I'm so angry. Um, oh, shrimp scampi pasta. I would like to have, as I'm trying to say, some of our younger women in all ethnicity, like my whole TV show, and I thank God for Lifetime. I'm going to talk to these women. I'm going to tell these women it's not that serious. I've been going through surgeries now for three years. I'm at the end of my surgeries. That when you got the fat left and all that, you're at the end of your surgery. I lost all type of tissue, muscle mass, everything in this fight. Couldn't eat. Weighed 105 pounds. And no, it was something I did to myself, but I did it when I first got, well, I wanted to be in the industry. And I thought from looking at people that that's what you were supposed to do. So I spent probably about half a million, no exaggeration, my first round was three something, 300,000 something. And insurance doesn't cover this yet. It's very unfair that you can make this mistake. And then if you don't have the money, you could be left to die. I don't want people to die for their mistakes. So let me step out here, be a real bitch. Let me step out here. Let me tell you the fuck up I made. Say what you want, but I stand 10 toes down always. I stand on it. So. You could never find nothing wrong with me. You would call me a makeup. I was a bully. That didn't work for you. Now this gave you something. So you feel like, what? How, like, because I'm still finna go get a big check. I'm the executive producer. And I'm still going to save women's life. So what I'm supposed to do? Sorry, I had a piece of back there, and I might dance again tonight. <laughs> I might. Sorry. Mm. Hmm? What's that? Give me some salt first. I'm thinking for oil coming out of it. I don't want no egg roll. You have always spoken your truth. I always, when I went through domestic violence, they picked on me about that. They called me a liar. Didn't understand why I was angry. I got the fuck beat out of me, okay? <laughs> the fuck do you want? Hey, Tibia. Congrats to your son. He's gonna be in the NFL. Congratulations, T. Well, he's going to college first, but we claiming NFL for him. Congratulations. No, I don't need that body, that silicone booty bag. I was fucking dying. Dying in the inside. So, no. You live for Chase. Yes, I do. 
That's my little partner. Me and my son was on the phone one day, like an hour, talking about artists, talking about music. Mm. Tia, you got this. You got this, friend. You know God is real. You got this. I'm a big child. Give me a caprice. It's sad when you go through domestic violence. The first thing is ask. Girl, don't get me started about my people when, when women go through domestic violence. Ooh, don't get me started. It's a fruit point in the back. Behind it. Your booty got a mind of its own. It sure do. It costs more than your whole life. Actually. Money I'm fixing to get that shit out of my body and correct it, you'll never probably spend it in your entire life. No, right? <laughs> this is not the dragon fruit Okay, let's try this. Because that dragon fruit one was nasty. You're right, this booty got a man of his own in his name. He's living good. Hurt and all. I'm gonna laugh at me like I can preach that. <laughs> what? Mm. Mm -hmm. I love you back, Juicy. You are beautiful. Thank you. No more Sprite. I'm going in the surgery. I'm not doing any Sprite. And guess what else I'm not doing, Corinne? Ha. After um, Friday, no sugar. Because I pulled my neck in. Um. Thank you. I'll catch the hook. You saw me catch it. Mm. Drink a lot of water. Okay. The event is right now. I'm at 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm chilling. Maybe I'll take a walk. I can adventure. You'll have stitches in me. What you want me to do? <clears throat> Carrell's going to set me up. She's going to try to have me go sledding down in my backyard with stitches in my ass. I didn't think about it. Yo, you, my mama thought about it and said, don't take your ass out there with them stitches in your ass. Under your cheeks and everywhere. Shawty, a little baddie. Thank you. My daughter loves you so much. Tell her I said hello. Mmm. Okay, let me get this off this piece. Hi guys, I have a new TV show coming out and it is to help women get silicone out of their body. I have not showed you guys my body since um, my surgery, but here it is. Um, 
it's coming along. I have a big dent right here. That's where the tissue was cut out of me. Ladies, it is not worth the shit to look like somebody on Instagram. You will have to fight for your life eventually. And that's just the truth. You can live with it, you can be sick, you can be achy for the rest of your life, but I wasn't with it. So this new TV show helps women get it out of their bodies. My surgery to complete my journey, to be all rounded and all natural is in two weeks before tour. So I'll keep you guys posted and updated, but that's what happens.